I don't know if you rent your home right now, but let's talk about something that's impacting people in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and the price of rent. You might think that rent gets determined by the market forces of supply and demand, and the landlords are just trying to go out there and make a fair profit. But if I told you there's a software company that could be conspiring with some of the biggest landlords in the city to fix the prices of thousands of apartments using secret data and algorithms to try to squeeze more money out of renters. That could be what's happening according to a lawsuit just filed by the Attorney General of Washington, D.C. The company that they're looking at is called RealPage. They have a product called Revenue Management that they claim can help landlords optimize their rents by using big data and machine learning. That sounds kind of fancy. Here's the catch. RealPage just doesn't use public data, like vacancy rates or average rents in the area. They may also be using proprietary data, how much each tenant is paying, how long that they've been living in an apartment, and how likely they are to move out. And they can use this data to build statistical models that can estimate the supply and demand for each apartment unit and generate a price that's going to maximize the landlord's revenue. You might think this is just a smart business strategy and that landlords are free to use whatever tools they want to set their rents. But there's a problem. RealPage is not just selling their software to individual landlords. They're also selling it to groups of landlords who own multiple buildings in the same market. And these landlords aren't just competing with each other, they could then be cooperating with each other. They'd be exchanging competitive and sensitive data, and they're adopting the rent set by RealPage's software without their own regards for costs or market conditions. In other words, they accidentally might have created a cartel. And this cartel is not good for renters. According to the lawsuit, RealPage's software could artificially inflate the rents, creating an illusion of scarcity and urgency could also discourage tenants from negotiating or shopping around for better deals because it makes them think that they're getting the best possible price. And it could prevent new entrants or competitors from offering lower prices because they can't access or match real pages, data, and algorithms. So this lawsuit is alleging that this scheme could violate antitrust laws. These things are designed to protect consumers from unfair and anti-competitive prices. It also alleges that this scheme could violate consumer protection laws, which are designed to prevent deception and fraud. The Attorney General's office is trying to stop this scheme and to appoint a corporate monitor who would oversee RealPage's operations. And it's also trying to go out and seek financial penalties for the district and the residents who were harmed by this scheme.